What's up, YouTube? God for Man 220, and welcome back to another part of Caesar in Gaul. Anyway, this campaign's gotten quite exciting recently. We are, uh, starting to take out the Nasamones, or, uh, Name Knights, never mind. <laughs> totally wrong there. Um, and then we have the Veneti here, who are kind of, they've been sitting out to, to Brethren, so wise. I like that. The, the Third Legion Fidelis. Sweet. Um, I'm getting rid of this. I figure this feat will start taking a ton of attrition, so eventually I'll be able to go out there and take get rid of them. Uh, my provinces are having a little trouble, you know, stabilizing after all. And that does take four turns. And I was forced to fall back from Elysia, but that's okay because I need to replenish my troops after all. And this should help turn the province around the Gladiator School. So in order to win this campaign, just a quick look here. This military victory is the only option, which is great. Oh, I only have 23. You need to control this province, basically. And that might be slightly hard. I figure I'm going to take out the... Ven I'm figuring I'm going to move up here, take out the Veneti, after all, and get rid of them, pretty much. I do actually want to start destroying some of these buildings. I don't, I don't need... Let's take it away. It's making people angry, too. I'll build them up slowly. And I'm also doing some research down here, which gives me army replenishment range, which will be very helpful for my forces. This this promise is a little upset, but that's okay. Let's look at some of my agents here. My skills are yours. Cultural propaganda. I don't need that, necessarily. Cultural conversion, that might be good. Yeah, I'm really trying to convert this populace here because I think that's what's causing a lot of the instability is the uh, cultural... Actually, really, it's just the slaves. So I don't enslave people. Well, not just that, but usually I don't enslave... Uh, it just it helps your economy, supposedly, in this game, but I'm not sure how full it actually is because... Oh my gosh, who the hell are these guys? The storm is coming. And look how many allies they have. I'm at worth. I don't know who these guys are. <laughs> None of them joined. Yes, the moment we've all been waiting for. These guys are finally going to assault. Let's fight this. I actually probably could have auto resolved, but you know what? I want to fight this battle. I waited the whole. Okay, I made it, waited a lot of the campaign to do this. Wait a lot of the campaign to fight, and I want to show you guys my awesome archers. I know if I get some champions in my armies too to help, you know, the chevrons and the campaign movement range and yeah, I'm a. The thing is, though, this campaign's almost over. I say that, you know, could get an army smashed and be in a lot of trouble. Awesome, we get defenses too. A barricade. Oh darn it! Why is it foggy? Definitely gonna land this fleet in the harbor. Okay, the main force is over here. And they do have ladders. Keep watch. Look at these awesome guys. So we'll keep these guys here and along here. I'll actually put I'll put like seven units on the wall basically. You know, if I can have my garrison troops like these guys just absorb the, just absorb some of the uh, the damage done by their warriors in the beginning, that would be great. Who is this? This is Brutus, the guy who stabbed Caesar, I believe. And then I'll keep these guys. I'll bring them right here by the water. And then I have barricades. I don't think I need these, honestly. I don't really find them too useful. I don't know. Let's just forget the barricades. So these guys should attack right here. Let's go look at my uh, mercenary Gallic Hunters. Is my drone giving a speech? Mm, apparently not. Let's find good old Brutus along here. 
There he is. Brutus. And sticking his spear through another man's shield. <laughs> anyway, these are my awesome hunters. They don't look as cool as I thought they would, actually. Getting ready for the barbarians. Technically, it's not correct to call them barbarians, but I call them barbarians. It looks like I'm getting hit by something. Oh, and I have a, a fleet to worry about. Oh, I actually have... Okay, never mind. We actually have guys. Is this our victory point? Oh. This is a capture point. This is a victory point. I'm just going to kind of sit right around here and use my towers. Hunters, are you actually shooting? Are they have flaming arrows? Let's, let's use that. Quick reload. So I'm going to have to get these guys off the walls. It should be hurting their morale. Let's see, you don't need to get off. These guys are in the direct path. And these guys... I'll run them down here. I'll move these legions where they were. Walls are still a little funny. Bigelay, is that how they call them, pronounce themselves? I gotta go see what's going on over here. To get some legionnaires with this guy. Yep, let's run back. We have some slingers though, so I'm just gonna kind of wait back behind my walls on this side. Okay, let's see if you guys can take on some Celtic warriors. They're eager, damaged by artillery. What artillery do these guys have? Ah, oh, they have some scorpions. Okay, guys, let's... Okay, I need to send more warriors down there. And I need to have my archers stop shooting because I think they're scaring my own weaker troops. Like, by a lot. Okay, let's bring the warriors over also. These are just some bolt. These guys are just spearmen. Yeah, like. Wow, look at that. Every shot from that tower is a kill on these guys. Practically. And anyway, we have more forces coming in. Looks like they're going to send their, their full army. Once they're hooked, I'll get my legionary cavalry and I'm going to assassinate their general and go after any slingers that are around. Wait, you're. Oh, these are legions. Start shooting at the Levy Freeman, we can at least do that. Okay, these guys once these guys get committed to the walls, I'm gonna Yeah, they're pretty much committed. Let's let's run out the gate here. It's just gonna be a brutal grind out fight on the wall. Have they landed any forces over here yet? Yeah. These guys just just walking, this is war. Okay, so the cavalry is out. I'm gonna go right after these slingers. Yeah, they're making some progress, but I have more, f more and more soldiers. So, also, my men are better. Like the men that are routing are these, you know, these really bad spear troops. They're 
they do have numbers right now, especially in the center area. It's Take them off. Let's uh, actually start using some of these guys to start hitting them on the walls. Oh, I'm not paying attention, and we get charged by Light Horse. Oh, we don't have Draco because I. Darn it. Come on, get out of there. We don't have Draco because I upgraded my patch to uh, the new Emperor's Edition beta patch for that, and. That was a mistake, obviously. I don't have Draco. Okay, I figured they'll just throw their javelins up right at these guys that are kind of stuck in the middle of the wall. And we'll definitely kill a lot more of them than us. They managed to get my cavalry back inside, it looks like. These guys are routing out of the, the base. Okay, let's deal with these guys. We'll run everyone over there and take them out. I'll bring the scrubbers back onto the wall. Yeah, look at... I mean... The missiles on this side of the wall are actually doing quite well. They just have some of these slingers. What are these archers doing? I mean, as soon as I kill all these guys on the wall, I'm gonna pull everyone down and just make sure my archers are up here. Oh, they might actually try to burn the gate down. They have a shield wall, it looks like, with these Gallic warriors. And let's go to the battle here. I'm a little blobbed up right now, which isn't good. But I cannot have that that tower go to the enemy. Oh, look at that. You see we now fire at will with the, uh... Basically, you can have you can stand there and let your men just throw peel at them or their javelins, and it makes units a lot more, uh... useful. And we do have a uh, loose spacing, which is something new, but... Yeah. We do have loose spacing, so I don't know if that's new or not, but we definitely have the fire at will for units. That's a new thing. Look at these slingers on the wall. Oh, I mean slingers in front of the wall there, not on the wall. We'll form up and shower these guys with javelins, hopefully. Or, you know, I might... Yeah, let's put one unit over here. One unit here. And, like, one unit right there. Yeah. That way I can throw javelins into this O Sworn. Oh, they're in headhunt. That's, that is bad. Well, at least we're taking back this uh, this point here. You can see we're just going to start hurling javelins into the side and back of these O Sworn. They're gonna get really tired on this one unit. Let's see, how are we doing over here? Oh, I still have all these archers. Yeah, okay, got it. Still have all the archers. Okay, let's pull down the majority of these units here. They're they're tired and they're just clogging up my wall pretty much. I'll pull down these guys also. Wow, look at the hundreds of dead Gauls up here, basically. These guys obviously weren't in the fight, otherwise they'd be dead. Definitely gonna kill a couple more Levy Freemen, and then I'll get my archers back up into positions on the walls here. I'll even get these guys here and put them on fire at will. So they can hopefully start taking some shots at these slingers. I'll bring the hunters back and these guys down here. I'll probably head up. I'm gonna take my men off of fire at will down here because they're hitting my own guys. 
yeah, now we're starting to have them take some loss. I'm going to capture back this point. Here, we were able to deal with these guys. Yeah, they just got javelin to death, basically, so... That was good. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, they're gonna take that. I'm gonna bring these guys over here. I wanna make sure all my guys are on regular... Regular shot. So I don't need to burn anything. And then we'll do... Quick reload, which gives us shots per minute, but they'll get a little tired, which is okay. You can see these guys do have some shields. That's gonna, you know, prevent me from getting a ton of kills right away. But they are pretty lightly armored, and some of them aren't even wearing armor. As you can see they don't have shirts on, so it's a disadvantage of not wearing a lot of armor. And you can see they have a ton of light horse. So do I have actually any spear units left? Levy Got Levy Freeman. I have these guys. Do I have any more kind of intact legions around here? Yeah, I'll bring these guys out. Wow, look at that. They're just kind of charging towards the gatehouse. Uh, they, they want to, you know, test our archers. I'm cool. I'm sure they want some practice. Oh, that's a Step Noble unit. And you can bet that we're going to... Oh, I better go in a square really quickly. Oh my gosh, we just got trampled by these guys. They haven't lost a single man yet either. Come on, Levy Freeman. Where's that Legion? Okay, now they're starting to lose some men against all these spears. And the flaming arrows, and my archer fire that's coming in. And when these guys go into that counter attack tactics, it gives them that bonus that really helps. I just wanted to personally kill this army that's been sitting out there for so long. Just been sitting on my shores. I'm definitely going to. Uh, actually, they all just routed here, so I should get an easy win here. Decisive victory. Yeah, I lost 700 men, most from my garrison forces. I mean, I did lose some men in these two cavalry units in this legion. But you can see I wiped out that force and pretty much critically hurt this force here. Yeah, these guys are dead. These guys are dead. All their forces are pretty much killed except for some of these slingers and cavalry. And that is the end of your army. Because I really need this army up here, to be honest. Oh, your fleets shouldn't get away. Yeah, good, they both got wiped out. Our gods demand it. I feel like they declared war on me under... again. Oh. But Bract has been poisoned. Ready for battle. Ooh, that's interesting. Defenders of the Hills. Okay, I think, you know, with our garrison, I think we can easily defend this place. I'm definitely going to get rid of this because it hurts my income. And we're going to move up to around this area. I need a second army, really. I can upgrade these guys and give them some... I like charge bows, but also... Hmm. I don't use the barricades or anything like that. Spike traps sound kind of cool. If I'm going to do unrelenting force, that should just really help out our men. But Bract has been poisoned, and my men are trying to retrain, of course. Oh, I don't stand a chance against this guy. That's your command. Anyway, I did complete this, so I have one growth in my provinces, which doesn't help a whole lot. Missile damage. Wow. 
Upkeep cost for the army, 5. Minus 5%, and I get re recruiting capacity over all my provinces. That's very handy. Caesar's still retraining his forces. I needed to destroy this temple here. Okay, I'm trying to think of what I want to do with this 6th legion here, right? Yeah, we're just going to massacre these guys. That was easy. Goodbye, Venetti. This is my town. Wow, it that was not worth the auto resolve there. It literally killed all my cavalry. Which take forever to retrain anyway. Let's switch this over to my kind of town. I'll bring her in to help. And this seems like an army that I was kind of training up. I don't have any cal access to cavalry in this province. Yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Call it 221 Sunny. I hope you enjoyed it.